what I think people should know about myself and my art is, you know, one, one of my goals was to fill a sketchbook every year. This is my 2020 sketchbook right here. And it, it uh, I think fundamentally, drawing has always been so important, but it's, it's, the sketchbook felt like this sort of sacred place that I couldn't mess up. But 2020 kind of changed that in a way where I thought, you know what, anything goes. This is a place to take risks and to be, um, just, to, just to be myself, you know, to where there's no rules, there's no, uh, there's no gravity to my ideas. Um, so my art is something that is, is exploring my own, my own interests, but at the same time, it's, I'm trying to put things out there that people can still come away with their own experience. My name is Jesse Pemberton. I'm a mixed media abstract artist. I mostly work with metal, um, although I started with ceramics at Santa Cruz and worked my way through bronze and woodwork, uh, but steel and metalwork in general became my emphasis. The inspiration behind my art is I find that that there's always some sort of experience to be had between art and science. And it's a way for our imaginations to be able to explore an idea. I think art plays uh, such a tremendous role in the Bend community and Central Oregon community. On the one hand, maybe at the grandest scale, we have an incredible amount of public art. I mean, our, our roundabout artwork is, um, without question, something that people use to reference for landmarks. And uh, we have a number of galleries, including this one here. This is the, the Sun River Gallery. Um, and there's, there's spaces uh, for muralists, um, for you know, pop-up film. Um, there's a tremendous amount of creativity here. And some of it's very obvious, and some of it's a little bit more clandestine. And uh, so I, I think you can you can start to investigate it and you can find that there's just more and more. Plus there's the culinary side of it and the brewing side of it and the music. I've noticed that the pandemic has affected the artist community here um, across the board. Uh, on the one hand, it was evident on a day-to-day -day basis that businesses were closed. Um, venues of all kinds were closed. Theaters um, are even our, our, our seasonal or quarterly festivals were suffering attendance, um, some of them even closed. Uh, here at the Sun River Gallery, uh, we closed for, I think, 60 days, which was pretty fortunate considering some of the other businesses that had to close. Um, but in this case, this gallery represents 32 artists. So 60 days for 32 artists, that right there was uh, an impact that, that I saw firsthand and, and in terms of how it affected me. Uh, Early on, it, it was it was very hard to work. You know, I, I thought I could get through it by trying to be more fluid and, and maybe just you know loosen up a bit with uh, with some of the uh, the abstract forms. But uh, I found that it was actually quite difficult. But what I've learned from this last this last year year and a half is uh, how important the uh, the excitement and the creativity of my kids have impacted me as an artist. I can't tell you how many wonderful crayon drawings and, you know, uh, little moments of uh, moving Legos and rocks around that has communicated back and forth between myself and my kids. And it inspires me. I, I mean, like, it really inspires me to the point where I, there's times where I just want to get in the studio and, and, and take that momentum forward. And so playfulness is something that I really wanted to get back. Thankfully, uh, my, my children were, were uh, quite the teacher for that. <laughs> the celebration of artists should be the new norm. That every day, the weather might be great, but you know, if, if, you're, if you're, uh, your day is, is aided by a, a cold beer and an awesome mural, uh, a walk around a sculpture garden or a drive through town, and you see something you've never seen before and it makes you stop and think and you keep coming back to the arts, if that relationship becomes the new normal between the urge uh, for artists to, to create more um, and the public wanting to engage in that work, we're just going to see better and better uh, you know, opportunities.
opportunities for artists.